my goodness, paying the small price, it's worth it. Hey, this is Keith Barker. I'm here in Southern California going to a Cirque du Soleil show in about, uh, starts today at 6.45, so in about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Anyway, I want to take a, chance, a minute and talk with you about when people are traveling, there's a couple things we can do to really help security. One of those things is if we're doing an online transaction with our bank or whatever, we might want to ask ourselves, can I wait? Can I wait until I get back to my home, back to my computer? And there's less of a chance of being um, compromised because uh, we're not out in the wild. Now, if we are out in the wild and there's free Wi-Fi, we should want to make sure we never use, do financial transactions over free or open Wi-Fi. Now, let's say we have to. Let's say you have to be on open Wi-Fi, somebody's free Wi-Fi, Starbucks or a hotel or what have you, and you still want to protect yourself. One way of doing that is by using a virtual private network. There's a lot of them out there. I happen to use NordVPN. Uh, I've used it for years. I think they're fantastic. I'm not sponsored by Nord. I'm just a fan, just a customer. And so by building a VPN from your mobile device to their servers or one of their servers, then no matter what Wi-Fi you're on, free Wi-Fi or anybody else, if there's somebody intercepting your traffic, if you're connected to a VPN, every packet is encrypted. So somebody eavesdropping or intercepting your packets, if you have encrypted sessions, it won't matter because you still have encryption all along the way. So first rule of thumb is, if you can wait for a significant financial transaction uh, and you're traveling, wait. <laughs> wait until you're at your home base or your computer or your own local network to do it. Secondly, if you have to, you do it. Turn off Wi-Fi, just use your data if, you're, if you have a data plan that supports it, which is another good option. Or third, if you have to use free Wi-Fi, please use a VPN. So uh, I'm looking forward to the Cirque show. Now, in, at Cirque du Soleil, these, these people are just amazing at what they do. And I realized they didn't just get there by showing up one day and saying, great, I'm gonna do it with the flagpole move or the BMX jump or whatever it is. They have practiced for years. Consistent, steady practice, getting better and better at their skill. And so as we take a look at our goals and what we want to accomplish, let's just realize that we're not gonna get there tomorrow or the day after, but let's set up habits and systems to practice, whether it's uh, whatever that skill is, whether whatever it is you wanna get really good at or we wanna get good at, just measure whether or not we're taking steps in that direction every day. And then um, it's amazing what can be accomplished. It's almost eight o'clock. It's amazing uh, how many people are at the gym at a resort uh, in the early morning. Anyway, <laughs> I just finished a workout. I really have come to enjoy my cardio. I'm doing it uh, almost daily for the last three months. I don't think I missed a single day. So cross my fingers, keep that up. And uh, my goodness, paying the small price just for the action and activity of doing something consistently like cardio or something for yourself to make you better or stronger, it's worth it. It's not even a, it's not, it used to be a punishment and now it's actually something I look forward to. And even if I didn't look forward to doing it, I'm looking forward to having it done. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're taking steps every day in your life to move closer to what you want to have happen. Uh, move, remove resistance when you can. So if there's something in the way or there's five steps for you to do something, Remove those if you can. Make it easier to do the thing than not do the thing. So have a great day and I'll chat with you later.